Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom, and I know many of you grow tomatoes, and tomatoes have a lot of different diseases. Today, we're at Johnny Selected Seeds. We're going to talk with Susie Anderson about late blight, and that's a disease that a lot of you might have heard about, and we're going to talk about how you can protect your tomatoes against it, and if you get it, what do you do? It can be devastating to a homeowner if they get late blight in their tomatoes and don't manage it properly. So what do you do? If you have late blight, the first thing a homeowner can do is trim these off and gently place them into a bag right at the site um, so that you're not carrying them around your garden and infecting other plants and placing them into the trash. You don't want to put these in your compost pile because of the spores. You don't want that to blow around on the wind. There are products out there, conventional products, that can treat this and actually control it very well. Um, the main ingredient in, on one of them is chlorthalonil. Um, it's a great uh, product for conventional management of late blight. Uh, organically, copper fungicides, and definitely check OMRI listing on what copper fungicide is approved. And there's two products with two different species of beneficial bacterium. There's Serenade and Sonata. Most organic options are preventative. Um, that means that they actually put down a layer on the leaf surface that prevents the spore from actually sporulating into the leaf tissue. Most of your conventional options are systemic fungicides. They'll kill the mycelium that are growing in the tissue. That's the big difference between these two options and why it's very important when there's late blight called for to get preventative down on your leaf tissue so that spores that land won't actually get into that leaf tissue. That is such a good point because I we, we often say if you're going to manage your gardens organically you've got to stay on top of it. You almost want to start doing these preventative measures from the get-go. Once you guys get this your choices really are your plants can end up going or you can treat them synthetically. Yes. And I know for other diseases there's multiple sort of varieties of the disease. Is it the same for late blight or is there only one late blight? It's a great question. It is. Late blight has several different strains and depending on what strain is prevalent in your area will dictate how you manage this disease. Susie, thank you very much. A lot of information there about late blight, one of the many diseases that can affect tomatoes, but Knowledge is power, and we hope that this has helped you here at Growing Wisdom.